Hey there, if you're feeling a little uneasy about your what's going to happen with your business or where it's going to go um, in light of the crisis we're dealing with today, I want you to stick around because I have some information that will put things into perspective for you so that you can make some good strategic decisions going forward. Um, if you've been following me for any amount of time, my name is Carolyn Herforth, and you've probably heard me talk about the evolution of an entrepreneur, the entrepreneur's evolution, where I talk about um, these different phases, growth phases in business and how it's based on our morale or our mindset and the money coming into the business and the money we're investing in our businesses. So this past week, I w um, heard Mike Michalowicz talking about the, the, the trends, the business crisis trends and five stages that we go through during crisis. And I thought it was really interesting and want to share it with you primarily because as I started looking at it, I was like, that's the morale piece of what I've been talking about since 2013. But I like the spin that he puts on it. I have been through three downturns myself in the 17 plus years I've been in business. So I get this. It's one of the reasons I've been talking about the evolution of entrepreneurs for so long because I've been through it. My colleagues have been through it. My clients have been through it. And this is what we're trying to do is get through it. And when you know where you are, it just makes things. It's just like, oh, I'm not alone. Oh, I'm not crazy. So. I'm going to very quickly share a slide, a couple of slides with you. So let me pull this up and hit play. Okay, so this is the entrepreneur's evolution that I've talked about since 2013. I'm not going to explain it to you here. If you want information on it, just go to carolynherford.com forward slash EE. What I want to do is focus on this yellow line, and this is morale or mindset, because it's, and there's money out in man. I'm not going to get into that piece today. Um, but the morale piece is what overlaps very well with what Mike talks about. And so he talks about the business crisis trends and the five different stages of those. So if we overlap them, you can see along the bottom, the, the growth phases I talk about, um, you can see it in context of the morale, the yellow line, and then his stuff is the stages are listed in blue. And then um, there's some orange copy down here that explains kind of what's going on. So the first stage is shock. It's what I would call the state of suspension where we are all kind of paralyzed, right? Stage two is desperation. That's where you start making decisions based on like not no, not being rational necessarily. It's like, oh my gosh, they have a whole bunch of paper towels in their car. We need, do we need paper towels? No, but let's get some anyway. So that desperation, and I'm using that as a consumer example, but we've done that in our businesses before. And it's actually very common. I talk about it um, is in terms of hitting the panic button when I talk about it in context of the entrepreneur's evolution, where if business isn't going well, we start to go like, what do I need to do? What are all the things I need to do? And um, not necessarily making places from that rational, um, logical place. So um, the, the third phase is it's when things get really bad. And it's like, okay, take a breath. Seth Godin calls it the dip. Mike calls it evaluation. It's where you, things just sink to a level where you have to make a decision. Am I going to go for this or am I going to step out? There is no shame in stepping out and, and going through the dip is a rite of passage. So the way Mike talks about it, it's consideration or stagnation. I talk about it in terms of committing or conceding. And so this is where you say, okay, what are all the possibilities? What are the things that I can do? Do I want to stay in business or not? And I know I am going to get interrupted here in two seconds. So, um, there we go. So, um, so the evaluation here is what am I going to do? How am I going to get strategic with this? And so we go into the strategy mode from there. So it's like, here are all the possibilities laid out. This is where I've been doing so much work with my clients, just saying, what are all the things that we could be doing to survive this and come out stronger on the other side? And so this stage four, where he talks about deliberate ag action, that's where you really are strategic. And this is... You know, sometimes it takes an investment, sometimes it doesn't, but it's really saying, okay, now that I'm done panicking, what, are, what am I going to do that makes me come out on the other end of this through in, in such a, so much better position? So when you take that deliberate, deliberate action, you're going to hit that surge or that burst 
in time. I am pulling the money in line back up because that's exactly what happens. And you can see right on the chart, Mike has the same philosophy in terms of where we're going to end out for business con uh, continuation. So if that helps you in any way, shape or form, just know that you're not alone. Know that there are trends here. I'm not the only one who sees it. Mike sees it. And now you can see for yourself where you are. If you are in a position where you just need some help with strategy, you're like, Carolyn, I've got all these ideas. I'm not exactly sure which way to go. Drop me an email. Carolyn at carolynherford.com and I will absolutely spend 10 or 15 minutes with you or, you know, just a, a little email exchange if that's what all it takes just to help you get some um, additional perspective and make some de decisions. We obviously don't want anyone not taking action. We don't want to have anyone take wrong actions. Um, and so you, you've got this, you've got this, you can do this and I am here to help you if you need it. So now, I am running late for something. I need to go. I want to thank you for watching and I hope that you like the video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.